On the battlefield of World War II, there was one sound that could freeze soldiers in their tracks. It wasn't a single shot or an explosion, but a relentless ripping noise, like tearing canvas at impossible speed. That sound came from the MG-42, a masterpiece of wartime engineering designed to dominate with unmatched speed and firepower. Nicknamed Hitler's Buzzsaw for its terrifying effect, it could fire over 1,200 rounds per minute with deadly reliability. This weapon changed the face of combat and became one of the most feared machines of the war. At the beginning of World War II, the German army depended on the MG-34, a finely crafted but overly complicated machine gun. It was built with precision machining, which made it accurate and reliable in clean conditions. But on the battlefield, where mud, dust, and harsh weather were constant problems, it showed its weaknesses. It was also slow and expensive to manufacture, which was a serious issue as the war dragged on and production demands grew. Germany needed a weapon that could be made quickly, survive rough combat conditions, and still deliver overwhelming firepower. In 1942, German engineers unveiled the MG-42. This new design was simpler, cheaper, and even more deadly than the MG-34. It replaced many complex machined parts with stamped steel components, which dramatically reduced production time without sacrificing durability. By the end of the war, close to half a million MG-42s MG-42s had been produced, but it was more than just a manufacturing improvement. It represented a new way of thinking about machine guns. The MG-42 could act as a light infantry support weapon when used with a bipod, or it could serve as a medium machine gun for sustained fire when mounted on a tripod with sights and recoil buffers. This made it a true universal machine gun, capable of filling multiple roles on the battlefield with just one design. Design. The MG-42 was created with one goal in mind, to dominate the battlefield with speed, reliability, and versatility. At a time when most allied machine guns fired around 500 to 600 rounds per minute, the MG-42 could fire as many as 1,200 to 1,500 rounds in the same time. This incredible rate of fire was not just for show. In real combat, it is hard to aim with precision, especially under pressure. Fire Firing so many rounds created a storm of bullets that increased the chance of hitting targets, pinning enemy troops down, and breaking their morale. But the MG-42 was not just about speed. It also had to be easy and cheap to produce during the demands of war. Instead of using complicated machined parts like its predecessor, the MG-34, the MG-42 was built mostly from stamped and pressed steel. This made it faster to manufacture without compromising its strength. Soldiers in the field also needed a gun that could be maintained quickly. After long bursts of fire, the barrel would become extremely hot. But the MG-42 solved this problem with a simple latch on the side. A gunner could remove a red-hot barrel and replace it with a cool one in less than 10 seconds, keeping the gun in action with minimal downtime. Another key idea was flexibility. The MG-42 could be carried by infantry with a bipod for mobile fire support. It could also be mounted on a tripod with optical sights and recoil buffers, turning it into a powerful long-range weapon for sustained fire. This meant one machine gun could fill many different battlefield roles. Combining firepower, ease of production, and versatility made the MG-42 a true general purpose machine gun far ahead of its time. The MG-42 is a recoil-operated, roller-locked machine gun. Despite its fearsome reputation, its inner workings are surprisingly simple and efficient. It was designed to fire faster than any other machine gun of its time while staying reliable under harsh battlefield conditions. The gun uses a belt-fed system, typically in 50-round lengths that could be linked together for continuous fire. As the gun cycles, a cam-driven arm smoothly advances the belt and lines up the next cartridge with perfect timing. This two-step feeding process enabled the MG-42 to maintain its incredible rate of fire without frequent jams. 
While many other machine guns of the era would struggle to feed properly at such speeds, the MG42 ran smoothly. It fires from an open bolt, which means the bolt stays locked back until the trigger is pulled. When the gunner squeezes the trigger, the bolt flies forward, strips around from the belt, pushes it into the chamber, and fires instantly. Firing from an open bolt is important for a weapon with such a high rate of fire because it helps keep the chamber cooler. With the bolt held open between bursts, air can circulate and reduce the risk of a round cooking off from excessive heat. The most important part of the MG42 is its roller-locked short recoil system. When a round is fired, the barrel and the bolt recoil together for a very short distance. Inside the bolt head are two rollers that lock into matching recesses in the barrel extension, holding the bolt firmly in place while the cartridge is fired. As the recoiling parts move back, an internal cam forces the rollers inward, unlocking the bolt from the barrel extension. The barrel stops while the bolt continues moving rearward. As the bolt moves back, it pulls the empty cartridge case out of the chamber and ejects it out of the side of the gun. At the same time, the recoil spring inside the receiver is being compressed. When it is fully compressed, it drives the bolt forward again. On the forward stroke, the bolt picks up the next round from the belt, chambers it, locks the rollers into place, and fires. This entire sequence of feeding, firing, unlocking, extracting, ejecting, and reloading loading happens 20 to 25 times every second. That is why the MG42 does not sound like individual gunshots, but more like a ripping or buzzing noise. Firing that fast generates a huge amount of heat. To prevent damage, the MG42 has a quick change barrel system. On the right side of the gun is a latch that allows a soldier to unlock the barrel and pull it out. With an asbestos glove or a simple tool, a hot barrel could be swapped for a cool one in under 10 seconds, allowing the gun to keep firing with only the shortest pause. The MG42 was also designed to be versatile. With a simple bipod attached, it worked as a light support weapon that could move with infantry. When mounted on the Lafette 42 tripod, it became a stable long-range weapon. The tripod absorbed some of the recoil and allowed for more accurate, sustained fire, especially when paired with an optical sight. This flexibility made the MG42 the core of German infantry tactics. Rather than the machine gun supporting riflemen, it was the riflemen who supported the machine gun, ensuring it stayed supplied and protected. This combination of simple mechanics, incredible speed, quick maintenance, and battlefield adaptability made the MG42 one of the most efficient and feared weapons of World War II. The MG42 was unlike any other machine gun of its time. Its blistering rate of fire was unmatched and created a terrifying effect on the battlefield. Allied soldiers often described the sound as a buzzsaw or ripping canvas, a noise so distinct and overwhelming that it could stop advancing troops in their tracks before they even saw where the fire was coming from. It was not just a weapon, it was a psychological tool that spread fear and confusion. What made the MG MG42 even more impressive was how reliable it was. Battlefield conditions were harsh, with mud, sand, snow, and dust constantly threatening to jam weapons. But the MG42's roller locking mechanism and open bolt design meant it kept running smoothly even in the worst environments. It only needed a two man crew, one gunner to fire, and one assistant to feed ammunition belts and swap over heated barrels. Together, they could hold down entire sections of a battlefield with relentless, continuous fire. The MG42 also changed how German infantry squads fought. Instead of riflemen being the main firepower with the machine gun in support, the MG42 became the centerpiece of the squad. Riflemen were there to protect it, resupply it, and help it maintain its deadly rate of fire. Compared to allied weapons like the Browning M1919, the MG42 was lighter, faster, and far more efficient at controlling the pace of combat. It not only outperformed its rivals in firepower, but also reshaped German tactics around its unmatched capabilities.
the story of the MG-42 did not end with the close of World War II. Its design was so far ahead of its time that it shaped the development of almost every general purpose machine gun that followed. After the war, West Germany produced an updated version known as the MG-3, which was chambered for the NATO 7.62 by 51mm cartridge. Remarkably, the MG-3 is still in service today with several armies around the world. Other countries also drew inspiration from the MG-42. The American M60 machine gun borrowed key features from its feed system, while the Belgian FN machine gun borrowed key features from its feed system, MAG used similar design concepts to improve reliability and ease of operation. Even modern Austrian and German weapons like the MG-74 and the MG-5 can trace their lineage directly back to the innovations of the MG-42. Its unmatched combination of speed, rugged reliability, and battlefield adaptability sets the standard for what a true general purpose machine gun should be. More than eight decades after it was created, the influence of the MG-42 is still visible in today's military weapons, proving that a truly brilliant design can stand the test of time. The MG-42 was more than just a weapon, it was a masterpiece of engineering that redefined what battlefield firepower could mean. With its blistering rate of fire, rugged construction, and unmatched versatility, it became one of the most feared machine guns in history. Even decades later, its legacy lives on in modern weapons around the world. So what do you think? Was the MG-42 the ultimate war machine, or simply the most infamous? Would you want it on your side or would you fear facing it? Share your thoughts in the comments and if you enjoy learning about the engineering behind history's most legendary weapons, subscribe for more videos about the machines that change the world.